Hi, this is Augie with Visual Impact and in this video we'll take a quick look at the brand new Zeiss Nano Primes. The lens set includes 6 focal lengths starting at 18mm on the wide end, 24mm, 35 50 75 and 100mm, all sharing a maximum aperture of t1.5 which makes them some of the fastest compact cine primes with a native E-mount. Inevitable comparisons to the CP2s and CP3s may come naturally, however the Zeiss Nano Primes are quite different in my opinion. They feature a more modern optical design with a hint of character akin to the Supremes, which is where the Nano Primes borrow their look to a certain extent. This makes them easier to intercut with footage shot on Supremes in situations where the main A camera is let's say a Venice 2 and the B cam is something like a Burano with Nano Primes doing pickups or steady cam duty. The 12 blade aperture design helps the lenses produce an elegant and swirly bokeh, reminiscent of lenses with a more vintage touch. Something having a cinematic look is quite subjective in my opinion, but I really do like the way the Nano Primes render highlights and how easy and forgiving they are on skin tones. The close focus distance on the 18mm Nano is just 25cm, which makes it possible to stand very close to the lens and achieve quite a unique look without massive distortion. All six lenses share the same 95mm front and are compatible with 86mm screw on filters. The 280 degree focus rotation is smooth and plenty for precise focus work. Lens data communication is also supported in addition to the extended data protocol. When it comes to size and dimensions, the 24, 35 and 50mm share an identical size and the weight is very comparable between 875 grams and 924 grams. The three lenses on the extremes are naturally longer but not that heavier. The 100mm tops out at just over 1200 grams, which isn't a problem at all. I shot a very simple scene demonstrating the differences in the field of view between all six lenses at three different T-stops, wide open at T1.5, T2 and T4. Overall, I quite like the Nano Primes. I think they are a great option for someone looking for more affordable full frame Cine Primes and is primarily shooting cinematic documentaries, corporate gigs, branded content, or similar. I'll leave you with some footage that I shot with the Nano Primes during our hands on event. Be sure to let me know in the comments below what else do you want to know about the Zeiss Nano Primes, and I'll see you in the next video.